Millie's American Diner for the National Street Art Association's Big Brunch. Something's going on up and down the country, and this is the Northeast and Northumberland area. And some amazing cars here today. Let's get involved in this one and go around and take a closer look at some of these fantastic cars that have turned up today for the NSRA Breakfast Brunch here at Millie's American Diner. Let's start with this gorgeous 69 Mustang, 418 cubic inches, a regular at the diner as long as the weather's nice enough. But what a fantastic looking car that is. That paintwork really pops in the sunshine. And then we've got this lovely Plymouth Valiant, one of two cars that Daz from DC Hot Rods has brought over today. The other one you can see there in the background. We'll have a quick look at that in a couple of minutes or so. But this is from the mid 60s. What a fantastic looking car. And I do know that both Daz and his daughter, they both give these some exercise down the, strag the drag strip when time allows. What a fantastic car. Carolina Blue there. Absolutely marvellous. Moving on, we're coming into a, few, a section of a few pickups. Get them from the rear view first. So they've got the Chevy 3100. There's a Chevy C10. And then look at the back end of that absolutely gorgeous 57 Chevy. Not to mention the bay window in a standout colour. You wouldn't lose that in a car park. And there's the other one. The other one that Daz has brought down with his daughter today, I think. Uh, this is the Dodge Dart, again, mid-60s car, powered by 360 cubic inch Mopar engine. Lovely colour on that one, really sets the lines off, you can really see the shaping and the styling of that car. What a massive thing, just take those lines and look at the styling of those back lights. That's something you don't get on cars these days, not any longer anyway. Lovely one there from 1965. Moving on to the pickups. There's the front end of that Chevy 3100, lovely detail on the wood trim in the pickup bed there. And then the Chevy C10. Are Chevy C10s, are they known as dense sides? If they are, that'll be the dense side. I've got to have another quick look at that 3100. Look at the side view of that perfect stance. And then this amazing 57 Chevy here in dark blue with a lovely red interior. And then obviously moving next to that, that's the Bel Air version. That. And then a quick glimpse of that virtually glow-in-the-dark bay window. And then we've got this lovely Triumph 2000 estate car. A local car to me, this one. Lovely looking thing. Been waiting to see that one come out on the road. Looks like it's got a lovely red interior in there as well. And next to the Triumph, we've got these two vastly different pickups there. A ratted out one and this El Camino. That was mine a while back. And then moving on to this, we've got this glorious blue Ford Model A sedan delivery powered by Rover V8. Obviously the traditional way of doing it with a, rat, with a, with a uh, hot rod over here in the UK. Look at the stance on that though, absolutely perfect. The white walls just setting off the white wheels there nicely. What a lovely look at that thing that is. And there's the front end of that El Camino again. Now that was mine two years ago I saw that. Can you believe it? Two years! And there's the front of that ratted out 50 Chevy truck. And finally another look at the front end of that Triumph Estate. And if you prefer your American trucks polished and shiny, look at that lovely red one there. Next to this amazing Ford Thunderbird, Ford T-Bird. You can't have a car show without a Morris Minor and this absolutely drop dead gorgeous Pontiac GT37. What an amazing looking thing that is. And then of course the ubiquitous Mini, have to have a Mini parked behind this massive Plymouth Fury. Look at the size of that, but doesn't it look stunning? Pleasure to see that one in the car park today. And look at this Ford F-150 parked next to this Capri Piranha V6. Look at the size difference. I thought Capris used to be big, it's dwarfed next to that truck. Lovely pair of Volkswagen Beetles here, absolutely amazing. Two different shades, one lighter, one darker. Absolutely fantastic looking at those two. And we've got this amazing Fordson van. Look at the way that looks. Aren't those wheels perfect? I'm not biased at all. Love roll race slots. But look at the way it sits. Look at the way it, it stands there. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. It would be great to see that parked up next to one that's all original, just to get the size differences and see if you can spot what changes have been made to this one compared to a normal size, an original one. And then this third generation Camaro in probably the brightest shade of yellow I've ever seen. You really need sunglasses for that car alone today. And in there, but that looks absolutely great parked up there as well. And of course, these days, you've got to have a Hellcat, haven't you? You've got to have a Hellcat. Owner of the Hellcat there, just sneaking in. This is another local car to me. It's absolutely astounding. And then there's this amazing, true to the name, Hot Rod. Now, are you like me? Do you prefer them with fenders or without fenders? Comment below, let me know. Fenders or without the fenders? But it does look truly stunning. It's colour set it off perfectly. And then we've got a 60s Mustang here. Lovely shade of green on that 60s Mustang. And then this 50s Chevy lead sled. Now that's been on the scene for a number of years now as well. It still looks absolutely gorgeous. And to round off with a Model T Ford 
powered by, would you believe, a 2.5 Pontiac engine. Well, what a fantastic day it's been today. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a look through the back catalogue of videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.